basic principles regarding decision making and how to improve it. There are two basic principles. The one regarding the organization you're working with is to make sure you're asking the relevant questions. The second principle, which is a regards the technical aspects of your work is to make sure that you can actually solve the problems you're trying to solve. So, let's start with the first principle. You always need to ask relevant questions. Questions relevant, relevant for your club or the organization you're working for. So, let's take an example. Let's say that you have a brilliant idea about an algorithm to optimize the selection of squad in football. This is going to be a pretty useful algorithm, obviously, but in the end, it is the coach's decision whether he wants to use that or not. It's quite likely that the coach prefers to use his own intuition and judgment in order to pick the squad for the next game. So in that particular case, you might go ahead and create this model and then you might realize that no one is interested in it. Let's move on to the second principle, which is about making sure that you can answer the questions that you're asking. The first step towards achieving that is to pick the right battles. You need to narrow down the problem to something you can solve, something that even after you've narrowed it down is still useful for the club. So let's say that you want to predict injuries. What does this entail? Does this entail collisions? For example, two players bumping onto each other? Are we talking about intrinsic injuries? Such as is usually the case with overuse injuries or extrinsic injuries as well. Are we talking about specific body parts? For example, do we care about head injuries or just injuries in the lower limbs? In the pictures we see Suarez batting a player, would we care about predicting this injury or not? It becomes quite apparent that some injuries are easier to predict than others. For example, you, you can't really predict whether two players are going to collide on pitch, but you can actually predict, or at least it sounds plausible you can predict, if a player is getting overtrained. In the end, you need to find the right balance between the importance of an injury, the importance an injury has both for the player and the club, and the feasibility of the problem. Let's move to another example. Let's say that you have two models. The first model predicts a specific kind of injury with 85% accuracy over a horizon of 30 days, while the second model can predict three different injury types over the same horizon but with only 60% accuracy. Which model is the best? There's no real answer here. This really depends on your goals. It's important to remember there's no such thing as a freelance. So, the first model has a higher accuracy but it predicts only one type of injury while the second model can predict more injuries but it has a smaller accuracy. In the end, the right choice depends upon the particular problem, the needs of the team and the goals. Let's move on to the next topic which is about choosing the right tools.